uncovering a secret Chinese-linked biotech lab in California. He went this. down this rabbit hole. I was just like, what the hell is going on? Is this as it's insane as it appears on the surface? And the answer actually is yes. So let's put this up there. So the NBC News report specifically did not uh, put the, uh, they did not ascribe the origin and the connections to the Chinese Communist Party in this, but they do actually confirm something key. One, this was an illegal unlicensed laboratory full of lab mice, full of medical waste, and full of hazardous material. The Fresno County Public Health Department, quote, evaluated and assessed the activities of this unlicensed lab. And what they found is that with multiple state and federal agencies determined biological and chemical con con uh, contents that were actually on site, including coronavirus, HIV, hepatitis, and herpes. So they actually confirmed, you know, some of the, uh, some of the actual chemicals and the biological strains and many of the others that were present there on site. A startling discovery was made in Reedley, California, as local and federal authorities uncovered a hidden biotech lab with nearly 1,000 mice and 20 potentially infectious agents. The warehouse, owned by Prestige Biotech, a company registered in Las Vegas, was investigated following a tip from a code enforcement officer. The revelations have raised serious concerns about the lab's activities and its potential implications on public health and safety. This video delves into the details of the investigation, the findings within the secret lab, and the ongoing criminal investigation by federal agents. The investigation began on March 3 when a code enforcement officer noticed a garden hose attached to the back of the warehouse, which raised suspicions. Further investigation revealed that Prestige Biotech had claimed to move assets from the now-defunct Universal Meditech Incorporated, a company registered in Fresno. Authorities obtained search warrants and made a shocking discovery on March 16. Inside the warehouse, authorities found various apparatus, liquid vessels, and thousands of vials containing unlabeled fluids and suspected biological materials. The warehouse was also housing human blood, tissue, bodily fluid samples, and serums. Furthermore, the company had nearly 1,000 white lab mice, some of which were kept in inhumane conditions, with over 175 already dead. This inhumane treatment of animals has raised serious ethical concerns. The situation escalated further when the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention conducted tests and identified at least 20 potentially infectious agents present in the lab. Among these agents were coronavirus, HIV, hepatitis, herpes, E. coli, malaria, and even COVID. The secret biotech lab operated without the necessary licenses for laboratory activity and failed to provide the required permits for storing and importing chemical reagents from outside the United States. Both Prestige Biotech and Universal Meditech were accused of not providing a plan for biological abatement and proper disposal of hazardous materials. Furthermore, the fact that the company was not registered as a medical waste generator with the Fresno County Public Health Department raises questions about their adherence to health and safety regulations. Another concerning aspect of the investigation was the difficulty in identifying legitimate addresses for Prestige Biotech and Universal Meditech. The addresses provided were either empty offices or unverifiable locations in China. This raises suspicions about the lab's connections to China, adding another layer of complexity to the investigation. The discovery of a secret Chinese-linked biotech lab in California has sent shockwaves through the scientific and law enforcement communities. The presence of potentially infectious agents, unsafe laboratory practices, and the lack of proper permits and oversight has raised alarming concerns about public health and safety. As the criminal investigation unfolds, it is essential for authorities to conduct a thorough examination and take appropriate actions to prevent such incidents in the future. The implications of this discovery extend beyond the walls of the warehouse, reminding us of the importance of vigilance in safeguarding the well-being of our communities.